Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how I house my meat rabbits in the summertime. What I have is this big fenced-in area, all chain link, and around it I put a, this is an electric fence, it comes on at night. So basically if anything like a raccoon or possum tries to climb up this, they're going to get hit by the fence, so they can't get in. So it's pretty secure in here. And what I have is, I only have two does in here right now. But uh, I have them in these cages with the spot inside it with their nesting box and stuff. But what I did is I let them dig their own hole out. Right there her is their hole. So she actually goes out of this cage and gets to roam around this whole area. And I have spots like this that they could go in. I have this thing going there. And here's my other doe right now. She's actually giving birth soon, so she's building her nest. And what I did is I just let her dig a hole. See, I don't know if you could see it. But right down there, it's kind of hard to see, but she has a hole. It goes pretty deep down. And that's where she is uh, going to have her litter. I figured that's the more natural way. We'll see how that works. But she also has a has a hole dug out so she could get out into this area and they don't seem to fight each other I mean they both they have enough space so they don't bother each other they don't spend much time outside they prefer to stay in their cages where it's nice and secure so that's where the does are in the winter time I have I put them in these cages up through here that way that way they're not cold and they're out of the wind so I believe let's see this is one mama it's in here she has her babies so what they do is after after they're ready, they could start going out that hole too and exploring. They have a lot of fun out here. Gets their exercise, they get grass and stuff like all through here. And they get to spend time with the chickens looking at them. <laughs> and then after, after all the rabbits are weaned, I bring them outside into the mobile tractors which is where they spend the rest of their life till I sell them or butcher them or whatever. So here they are. I have two litters in here right now. So there's 12 rabbits. I think they are about a month apart. And they don't fight at all. They got used to each other real quick. So they sit out here all day. I move them three times a day so they're always getting fresh grass. They get their exercise. They get to socialize with other rabbits and dig and have a fun life. And then I just supplement their feed with pellets. I dump them right in here so when I move the tractor it doesn't leave all the uneaten pellets. They don't waste food. Then at night I move them in here and lock them up. That way they don't get eaten. So those are all my grow outs. And then the last rabbit I have is my buck. I made his own little tractor. And I move him around. Just because I can't leave him in the big cage because then he'll breed my females. So I move him out here. He likes it, he gets his exercise, gets to be outside. And that's secure too, nothing can get in there. And he's a little, he's a little hot at the end. 
where you could go inside at night. And yeah, that's how I house them in the summer. All these tractors I made myself out of uh, junk wood I found. Like these are just old uh, planks of wood I found. All this is old plywood. Cheap chicken fence plywood. Same with this one. It's all just junk wood basically as you can see. It doesn't have to be pretty. Got the store here, goes up and down. It works. They like it, they feel secure in there. They don't get eaten, so. Yep, that's how you house them in winter, or summer, I'm sorry. Save a lot of money on feed, letting them eat the grass. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, this whole area, this is where I moved in the past few days. And they definitely mow it down good. So, alright. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.